Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. If you have been facing issues with WFP invalid operation do screen error on Windows 11 and Windows 10 PC or random crashes while gaming, it could be a driver issues. Don't worry, in today's video, I will walk you through how to troubleshoot and fix this WFP invalid operation blue screen error problem. So, let's get started. The WFP invalid operation error typically indicates that an operation being attempted within the WFP framework is not valid. This can occur for various reasons such as number 1. Modifying or deleting a filter layer that does not exist. Number 2. Creating or applying filters with invalid settings. Number 3. Calling APIs in an incorrect sequence or without proper initialization. And number 4. A common cause is outdated or malfunctioning drivers. These drivers are crucial piece of software that let your hardware communicate with Windows. If they are not working properly, your system could be crashing. Identifying the problem. The first steps you need to follow are update the BIOS, chipset and major driver for your system, especially for devices like your graphics card, network card, sound card and more. Update drivers. To start, let's update your drivers. Right click the start button and select device manager. Here you will find a list of all hardware devices installed on your system. Expand categories like display adapters for your graphics card, network adapters for your network card and others like sound and input devices. Write down the make and model of your device along with the current driver version. For example, under display adapters, note the details for your video card. You can try updating the driver here, but keep in mind that Windows may not always provide the most up-to-date driver version. Uninstalling and reinstalling drivers. If your current driver is not working, you can uninstall it from the device manager. Right click the device and select uninstall. And reboot your system. This will refresh the driver stack which can sometimes resolve the conflicts. After the reboot, go to manufacturer's website or directly to the hardware maker like Nvidia or Intel. Download the latest driver version and be sure to install them as an administrator. using driver viewer for a detailed look. To get a detailed look at the drivers currently running on your system, I recommend using a free tool called driver view. It shows all the drivers loaded on your PC and helps you identify which one might outdated or causing issues. Now just follow me to use it.
After downloading Driver View, open the program and go to View menu. Set it to hide Microsoft drivers so you can focus on third party drivers. Those are ones most likely to cause problems. Update any drivers that don't have Trump in their name by heading to the manufacturer's website. Running Driver Verifier If you still having issues, time to step it up with the Driver Viewer. This is a built-in Windows tool that helps detect faulty drivers that may cause BSODs. So let's see how to set it up. Press Win plus R to open the run. Now type in Verifier and hit Enter. From here, choose Create Custom Settings and check the box for Standard Settings and driver specific verifications. After configuring it, restart your PC. Analyzing driver verifier result. If driver verifiers triggers a BSOD, it will create a mini dump file that can use to diagnose the faulty drivers. If you get one of these files, then here's a certain tutorial on how to diagnose BSOD errors. Resetting driver verifier. Once you are done with driver verifier, be sure to disable it. Open run again. Type verifier space for slash reset and hit enter. This will return your system to normal. And that's it. I hope you found this guide helpful. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.